Welcome back to Elm County Living. Next, we'll talk to Brett Houston at the Elmer Express, a newspaper and printing company that has been successful locally, nationally, and internationally. Our next stop on our journey is the Elmer Express here in Elmer, of course, with Brett Houston, Vice President. So Brett, tell us a little bit about the history at Elmer Express. Uh, well, this is our 132nd year in business. Uh, we've, our family, the Houston family, has owned the paper since 47. Um, so most of the history is, is under our, uh, the Houston name. Um, in the 1980s, when my father got a little more active here, he decided that the only way to grow the business and make more jobs was, was to expand the commercial print end of things, where, whereas you can only sell so many newspapers and you can't sell the Elmer Express to London or Toronto, um, you can sell commercial print to anybody. So uh, since then, I think uh, every year since the mid-80s we've grown and uh, in the last few years uh, the commercial print end of things has grown uh, an average of 50 to 75 percent the last few years end on end. So it's uh, a substantially different company than we were five or ten years ago. Great. So uh, talking about the print side of things, um, what do you specialize in? We specialize in being able to do just about everything. Um, in commercial print, uh, mostly what we do uh, is large corporations, uh, education, institutional, pharmaceutical, marketing. Um, it's it's a pretty wide variety, but uh, we've we've got some very specific work that we do. Uh, a lot of mailing related pieces, direct mail campaigns, and uh, transactional, which is invoices, that sort of thing. Uh, it's a pretty it's 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 really all things to all all people and our customers include we still have walk-ins in Elmer and we've got um, large uh, uh, corporate accounts that uh, that require like a team of, of staff to, to manage so it's a it's a pretty good variety great now where um, do your clients come from are they locally Ontario Canada uh, all over we've got uh, I think a pretty good reputation in, in our home in East Elgin and Elgin County um, we've always liked to do business locally, of course. It's nice to, to do business with your neighbors. Uh, outside of there, because there's a, it's a limited market, um, we have a significant amount of business from London, Kitchener-Waterloo, Toronto. Uh, we have some corporate accounts that include all of Canada. We're down to Windsor. It, it, it's really anything central uh, in Ontario, but uh, we've, we've, I mean, we ship internationally. We, we do business internationally, um, but certainly southwestern Ontario is, is the focus in, as far as Toronto. Great. Now, I saw a few of um, your items in the front display case. Could you let us know about a couple of the larger scale uh, jobs that you've done? It's uh, it's a nice long list of, of customers that are known brands. Uh, Cervelo Bicycles, which uh, has won the Tour de France uh, several times and is uh, a leader in, in bicycle manufacturing. Steam Whistle Brewing, um, an independent leader of uh, in beer. Um, we've got a number of universities, uh, Laurier, Western, um, University of Windsor, uh, University of Toronto, uh, 3M. We've got a, a good relationship with as well as Libro Financial uh, been with us for for several years so um, it's it's all over and then it's also um, municipalities around here and as far as away as Toronto and in the county itself um, and right down to to walk up customers in town and and um, farmers just needing sales or, or invoice sheets or or business cards Great. Now, moving from the print side over to the newspaper side, tell us a little bit about the newspaper and um, what's inside. Uh, I think I'm proud to say uh, we're we're a fiercely independent uh, and aggressively so community-minded newspaper. We're one of the largest independents in the country. Uh, we don't answer to any editorial board. We're we're it. Um, uh, so for the last, I guess, 60 years, we've we've been interested mostly in the benefit and, and news in this community and that's never changed and neither is the size of our newspaper everybody else has gotten smaller and smaller and now because uh, we've resisted change and kept the, the pictures big and the type big we've now got the biggest newspaper in Canada um, we're, we're proud of that and I think we we hear th that's really one of the only complaints about our paper is, is some people think it's uh, it's too big but but um, they need a bigger coffee table I suppose um, and we couldn't be prouder of, of the quality of writing it's easy to uh, to 
think it's difficult to compete with uh, the dailies, but uh, our newspaper is, is, I would say, better written. And we've got the awards to prove that we've got the invest. We've got uh, provincial awards for investigative journalism, um, and we've got uh, national awards for having the best agricultural edition. And we've, in the last 10 or 15 years, we've won most of those awards, uh, especially in agricultural. So we're, we're, and that's that's competing national. So we're we're quite happy with with the work we do here, and that's all with local staff uh, lives in Elmer and area trained uh, trained here and live and work here. So we we're. Uh, East Elgin definitely has the talent to do whatever we want to do. That's wonderful. Now, um, where can people pick up the Elmer Express if they're interested in reading about the eastern end of the county? Uh, we sell in, in most uh, convenience stores, uh, general stores, grocery stores, from uh, the far end of Bayham uh, right through St. Thomas, uh, just about every store in Elmer, downtown uh, St. Thomas, we sell a significant amount, and down t through to Port Stanley, we've got uh, newsstands regularly. We, sub we have uh, a high number uh, compared to other newspapers of subscriptions, and we mail those right out to your house so you don't even have to, uh, to look hard. And uh, for we have a number of snowbirds who spend six months in Florida, so we offer full online subscriptions uh, to them, and we've also got um, just at elmerexpress.com, we have uh, daily news updates with uh, just a bit of a teaser or, or uh, the breaking news, and the full story comes in the next week's paper. So we're we're fairly connected to anybody that wants it from uh, from the east end right up to. Uh, we hear a lot of people from the west end that actually buy our paper because we provide the only coverage of uh, of certain councils and certain events that you can't find anywhere else. Great. Now, if people are interested in getting sub subscription, how do they get a hold of uh, Elmer Express? Uh, you can find that online at elmerexpress.com, that's A-Y-L, uh, of course, and uh, any number of people here at the Express can, can help you with that. Uh, just, just call and, and uh, we can do it. Great. Now, do you have any closing comments for our viewers today? Uh, nothing in, in particular, but um, ho hopefully in, in the business community in, in East Elgin and the, and the county that there's, um, there's plenty of motivation and, and uh, it's certainly possible to compete on a on an international level with any number of businesses from the big city. Like there's there's uh, there are certain advantages to working out um, in the, in a more rural setting, and uh, it makes you try harder. And I think it makes our businesses in this uh, area stronger. And stronger businesses mean a stronger community, and and more uh, more art, arts and culture can be celebrated with with that uh, strong backbone. So we all win, and we don't need to all live in the big city to, to do it. So true. Great words of wisdom from Brett Houston here at the Elmer Express. Back to you, Catherine. Thanks, Kate. Buying locally is so important. It means supporting your friends, neighbors, and the local economy. Let's take a short break and we'll be right back on Elgin County Living.